Oh, my horses! A very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McLaren, and we are, of course, live on the big one. Welcome, welcome. The internet phone in just for you, Dinky Doo. It's Saturday night, nine o'clock sharp. Nothing gets past me. And lovely to have you with us. Welcome, 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 I say. Always good to have you with us. And a big dinky do to you. Now, I'm just going to see if I can do a slight adjustment here. Fantastic. That's much, much better. Right, there we go. Now, we've got the chat on. So if you want to chit-chat, you can chit-chat. Not a problem at all. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Kareem. How lovely to have you with us now, Kareem. You may well want to phone us. And we could catch up on what is what with you. So there you go. So feel free to do that, of course. You're very, very welcome. The line should be open and always good to hear from you. There we are. Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty, how's it? It's Alan from Glasgow here. Alan from Glasgow. How lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doosa. How's things tonight? When are you coming back on the radio? I know, I know. We need to get back on the radio. I'm talking, Alan, I'm talking to very, very senior people about it, but it just needs one switched on programmer. Hello? When are you coming back on Sunday to Thursday, 10 a.m., 10 p.m. to 1 a.m.? Oh, would that not be absolutely fantastic? Listen, Scott, I've been, I've been listening to you since Scott FM days back in the mid-90s. Wow. And... It's not the same. You get me get back on the airwaves. Yes. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, the numbers are obviously small because we're going to have to build it up, Alan. You know, and it's uh, it's a long road to furrow, as they say. Uh, see, I mean, I, I remember that newspaper article many years ago that you jammed the British Telecom um, lines. We did. We did. Alan, are you a TikTok man at all? Ah no, uh, well, it's no rubbish. You see, we're actually massive on TikTok. So I don't know if you want to have just have a, even have a wee look at that. Absolutely, that's what it's all about. We need to get in there and sort them all out because okay. if the cats are away, then the mice will play. But the thing is, Scott, are you the back? You know, like. Scott FM, I mean, how many viewers a week? How many view, How many listeners a night did you have? It was six figures. Uh, we were into quarter of a million per half hour. So if you take that six times that, what does that give you? Six times quarter of a million, one and a half million. One and a half million. I yeah. don't know how that the lovable lassie, the big switch ball dealt with it. Well, I'll tell you how she dealt with it. The lovable lassie was an outstanding, and I mean real. Top, 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 top typist. And she contributed so much to the show just by her skills. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Because she was, she, I had a screen in front of me. It was all the latest stuff at the time. And I had a screen in front of me. And uh, she would type up the names. And if they fell off the end, she would get rid of them. And then she would pop up the next names. So every time I went, I got the right name. Uh, but what I always found funny, as you do remember this, is that people used to come on and just scream down the phone. I oh, used to just shout and ball down the phone and all that, and we used to cut them off. <laughs> That's because that they wanted to be in touch with McLean, but they didn't know what to say. They, they, they didn't even shout. They didn't even shout the ball. They just came on and like that. Ah! Nah! That, I think that was a lot of youngsters actually, because we had a huge, huge youth following. And I remember speaking at a conference, Alan, and uh, just before the I was about to speak, and in came the head of Radio One, and I thought, "What's he doing here?" And I thought, "He's here because of the youth following." Uh, 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 I mean, I mean get back to I mean, get back to Scotty FM, Scotty. Um, obviously, it's no. It's, um, you remember Wee Fat Bob? I remember Wee Fat Bob. Yes, I haven't heard anything of him for years and years. As you did. Oh, I don't know. I, I would hope not. But you don't know. You, you just don't know. I mean, I've said about somebody, you know, how are they? And they go, oh, I, I, they passed away. Uh, because I remember, obviously, when you left Scott FM and then we fat Bob, so we came on, I came on to say, when you were on, it was pure mayhem. To be fat Bob, he was quite mellow. Yes. You know, he was like, he was like an agony uncle. Yes, you know, that, but, that's right. I, that's right. I mean, 
Uh, when did you start the Scott FM? Uh, I started, I'll tell you exactly, the 12th of December 1994. Aye, I was there because I remember I worked in Royal Mail at the time. Aye. And I used to listen to it. And I, I was 10, 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. and I was back at about half past four in the morning. And what brought us the bunny, Alan, was that I had a, a big scarf and a bunny on and the newspapers were trying to take photos of me going into the studio because they wanted to know who the new mystery man was. So we just kept it. And because, as you know, the studios were at Leith Docks. And on the 12th of December, Leith Docks are not actually the warmest place to be. No, no. And then almost after that, I moved it to Bayliston. That's right. They moved it to Bayliston. I didn't sadly move to Bayliston with it. But, uh, you know, that's that's just the way the cookie crumbles. I went down to Sheffield and then I went over to Manchester. We moved to the morning and that got so hot it doubled the audience again and was nearly wiping out the established radio stations. So they were in an, an absolute panic, you know. But the thing is, there was a different type of conversation in the morning than it was at night time. Yes, yes, the night times were just a little bit fresher, shall we say. <laughs> the night time was the best. The night time, well, the people in Scotland that lay in bed and listen to that, now they might always, they might not always have agreed with me. A lot of them did, of course, uh, you know, but they might not always have agreed, but, you know, they they were all listening and that's what matters. I think, I think most of the audience, you know, boys, I mean, when I used to listen to you, I was 94, I was what, I was eight years old, you know, and I used to listen to you and Wow. I mean, so I've been listening to you almost 30 years back. Yes. I mean, you, you, I mean, you'll never recapture no. those days. Well, I don't know. Never. You see, but the only thing is, I'll tell you, Alan, everything was right about that. The backers were two ITV stations, right? So, so the backing was good. The station was properly set up. The management were very, very good. There was a lot of very good salespeople. There was good news people. They brought on the very best. And uh, so you had a really good staff there at the time. And then, of so course... Why again, so, so why again, Scott, the management? Is that Boss Man Jay? No, no, Boss Man Jay wasn't anything to do with it till much later. He came in at the end on Scott FM and then it changed to Real Radio. That was Boss Man Jay. Boss Man Jay yeah. worked for Radio no. Forth. Is he still with us? Uh, yes, I believe so. Yes, in fact, um, I, I think I saw recently he was taking on an online station. Very, very experienced man. But um, you see, they didn't, they, they, they used to listen to me and they thought he's going to be difficult to handle. And of course, I wasn't. You know what I mean? It's and it was and you know I mean as somebody said, the head of ITV said, "You're an absolute peach to work with, Scotty." You know, and, and that stuff, because we were getting on with the job and bringing the audience to the station. Aye, aye. I mean, so I was, I mean, just at the new year, I mean, I was, I was, I was watching your husband and bash on the, on the internet, you know, and it was like, ah, uh, but if I could, if I had the great to come back to clock and get you back on five nights a week, that'd be amazing. Five nights a week, three hours a night of complete and utter quality chat. And you see, I'll tell you the other thing, Alan, the people of Scotland loved it because, you know, I'm just an ordinary guy. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I think I that's think what's important. No, the thing is, obviously, when you were doing the chat show, I mean, nothing shocked you. No. So I think some of, some of the responses you gave to people, they weren't expecting it, but you were straight to the point. Straight you know, right in. Like we just it. told them straight, do not give me any of that nonsense. I mean, these days, you know, I mean, you're trying to do this. I mean, I've seen an article in the paper that are dropping the midget for midget gems in case it offends people. Well, you see, see this offending. I mixed this up last week, this saying I've got to apologize for that. But what I've always said is you cannot give offense. It has to be taken. So people right. take offense. Now, what I would do is put a proper Scotty McClue show on and say, if you are going to be offended, do not watch or listen. Just go away. Uh, because it's been, it's been well documented in, for the last couple of years. I mean, even programs from like the 1980s, like um, 
love thy neighbour in sickness and in health with Alf Garnet. Yeah. Only frozen horses. Certain clips that were made back then, you know, yes. been edited out, and you're like, uh, really? And you probably know what I'm talking about. Scott. Of course. You know, of course. You know, certain clips. But it's like comedians. When comedians tell a joke, people go, oh, and you say, it's a joke. You know, but they say, oh, these telephones. And even I read today, even programs like True and the Fat and Still Game, some of the stuff, I don't know if you remember the True and the Fat clip with the two wee boys at Ice Cream Van. Yes, well, you see, that now would cause a stushy. Of course. You know, it would cause a stushy. <laughs> but in actual fact, as people say, it's one of the funniest things. Do you know the funniest bit of that was the, the Iron Brew Bottle smashing? Aye, aye. And the wee boys still standing in the night in the, in the pokey hat. They were just know, left with the pokey hat. <laughs> And I think, yes, and I think that's it. And I think that we need to grow up as people. You see, who is offended? I can remember they said, by the way, the council are going to ban a Christmas tree from the town centre. Can't you mind which one it was? And I said, why Why are they doing that? And they said, well, they feel it might upset the Islamic population. And I thought, have you asked the Islamic population? Because I can almost guarantee they wouldn't be in the least upset. Because that's the last thing on their mind. Unfortunately, you know, it's um, it's, it's something that is, is becoming more and more popular. You're fine to say booty something out in case of your friends. Yes, certain, but you can't, certain... Alan, you can't have religious freedom just going for one religion. You know, if you're having religious freedom, then that covers all mainstream religions. Uh, or even some people line them up. You know what I mean? If they work with the public, they're fine to say something, or they're fine, fine to do something in case it upsets them. Yes. And that one. You see, well, I think we need to we need to not have this complaint. So you need a complaints department that when somebody complains to them, the answer should be grow up. Uh, basically, grow up there. Grow up, grow up, grow up here, for goodness sake, grow up. And that's, I might set up my own general complaints department for everything and have a number, Alan, so everything, doesn't matter what it is, you complain to Scotty McClue and I tell you to grow up. I think, Scotty, you should be doing it down the street, run as a, run as a prime minister, get, get Bojo, get Scotty McClue in. Well, the only trouble is I don't think I would get in because I tell the truth. And that's not popular, you know. You think, oh, you can he tell them that? You say, yes, you can. Uh, uh, you tell the truth, Scotty. I, I remember vaguely years ago you were, you were referred to as a shock jock. A shock jock? Well, that was only a term picked up by the papers because the nearest they could come to what I did was in America. Uh, you you know, see? Well, keep up the good and go on that radio. Alan, see, since you've been on, we've had these gorgeous people on the TikTok here. Wait to hear this. Howdy, Scotty. Howdy. They're all fond from America. Uh, what about this one? You're looking splendid, Scotty. Hi, Scotty. I agree. Scotty for PM, says Trent. I want to complain about being forced to live in the United States. <laughs> Sorry, but all, all, the, all, all the younger generation. Scott, you know, they don't remember the good old Scott FM days. They, they don't remember that. They follow me before. See, Scott FM, again, Alan, was Scotland's finest radio hour. They had it absolutely right. And then along come people wanting to change it. Well, that's the thing. I mean, I don't listen to it. I mean, I listen to Smooth Radio now, you know what I mean? But, well, you see, Smooth Radio is actually the next incarnation of, uh, oh no, it's not the next incarnation. Heart Radio was the next incarnation of Scott FM. Aye, Heart Scotland, we went with Heart Scotland broadcast to London by English presenters. Yes. <laughs> yes, well, that's right. You see, you need to see, this was all Scottish voices. And I think also there would have been a bit of a panic politically because that Scott FM, had it still been existing, would make Scotland very powerful because it would have its own media. I mean, is there any, I mean, is there any Scottish stations now? I have quite, no. quite one. No, but they're they're owned by uh, a company in Germany. I mean, what about, like, if uh, Go, was it Go Radio? I think Robin Galloway went there. A uh, Pure Radio. It's a pure pure Radio. Now, that's a Scottish company. That's uh, that's DC Thompson's. Right. 
I think so, yes. I think he's, he's still as the last thing I heard he was still doing his breakfast show. Very funny, clever man, very good broadcaster. And I and I loved working with him because he used to call me Feather, if you remember, in the mornings. And he used to have a tune for Feather. And when I came into the radio station, he would say, Feather's tune, Feather's here. And we used to break all the rules. Like if the red light was on, you shouldn't really enter a studio. I'd push the door open and shout, morning. And, and do you know when we did that handover, the audience spiked right up to the roof. Is that right? Aye, because there was just nonsense being talked. Right. But as I say, that was, I mean, there's sometimes people have in the past, but you know, if you can bring the past back, you know, have a, a good old state. Well, yes. I mean, I can remember when they still had the proper ITV management in at Scott, and they had a meeting about programmes. And they went through all the programs, what needed to be tweaked or changed or whatever. And they got to Scotty McClue at night. And the managing director said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Exactly. Exactly. You know? So how long have you, how, how, how long have you been involved in like, the, the, the radio? Uh, well, I, I, I went into television in 1984. So what's that? Uh, 38 years ago this year. And the radio side of things, I set up a radio station 32 years ago. Uh, that's still on air and doing well, called Central FM. And then I uh, I started Scott McClure, uh in June, 30 years this June. Right. So I've still got another 10 years of graft in me, you know what I mean? Yes, used to read the news. I mean, you'll see it on the YouTube channel. You'll see all the stuff on the YouTube channel. But the thing is, Scotty, did you read the news under Scotty McClure, or was it a proper name? Well, I just read it. I didn't read it under Scotty McClure. didn't exist at that time. <laughs> I, 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 still, I still think I wouldn't mind. I could. I would even have a shave. I wouldn't mind having another go at reading the national news. You know what I mean? But the thing is, you know what I mean? If people see you in the street, can they shout, Scotty? Yes, shout yes, there? taxis, taxis still hoot. People come up to you and go, I can't believe it's you. This guy came up to me one time. I was standing outside the supermarket. He goes, are you who I think you are? I said, well, who do you <laughs> think I am? So there you go, my boy. And it's just been a joy to hear your good self. I, and as I say, do what you can, Scotty, to get back on the radio at night time. Yes, that's the big one. If you want Scotty McClue back on the radio, give us a call tonight and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Alan, what a joy. Don't be a stranger. Speak to you soon, Scotty. I hope so. Dinky doola. Right. Top right. man. Bye-bye. Ta-da now. There we are. That's our Alan. How amazing. Fantastic stuff. Now, who have we got here? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, Scotty. It's Kareem. Oh, Kareem, fantastic. Kareem, two seconds. I just yep. have to run through a few of these. Uh, here we go. It's all politics now, Scotty. Everyone's scared to offend anyone. I don't live in the past. I just think the present's going in the wrong direction. Correct, little king. I'm 34. What about the leggings? Things people are wearing now. They're going shopping in their pajamas. My boss has broke down, says Keith. <laughs> Mumbling pants. I'm only 23 and my generation's an embarrassment, a bunch of snowflakes. The only news I see here is about people being shot, people being kidnapped, and Russia versus Ukraine. Absolutely little king. So there we are. That's us up to date with that, Kareem. Two seconds. We just need to see who have we got here. Loved Scott FM. Um, Kunal, Kunal is a better name. Uh, there we are. What have we got here? Yes, I'm calling, says Ilias. There we are, fantastic. I'll swipe you. I think you mean Skype. Streaky Bacon, Red Rose, 1992. Uh, lovely talking to you, uh, Scotty, says Alan. Who are you talking to, says Susan. I don't know what's going on there, but something's kicking off. Kareem, oh. thank you for that. Bless you, and it's lovely to hear you. Scotty, it feels like I've not spoke to you in such a long time. Well, you haven't. It's too long, and we've missed you. 
thank you, Scotty. I'll get right into it because you know sometimes I can raise some, uh, well, I would hope, some interesting always, discussion. Always, always interesting discussion when you're on, Kareem. We love it. I've got three things, so I'll batter them on quickly. The right. first one, Scotty, which is absolutely up to me. You'll be aware just now that uh, the highway code, there's been a lot of changes just now. Yes. And one that's really bugging me at the moment, uh, which I think is going to cause a lot of accidents and loss of life, is uh -huh. that pedestrians now have the right of way when they're crossing the road at a junction. So, Scotty, if you're driving your car, and you're turning, um, and if the pedestrian just decides to walk out, you must stop. Yes, stop. now that's dangerous because somebody could run into the back of you at that one. Correct. Now, if you've got a toddler in your car of the people behind you, yes. uh, you know that we're t what are you teaching kids when they're going to cross a road? Yes. Because with the best will in the world, they don't have a clue. They're still learning, and if they just cross over, they're going to be... I, I don't know life. who's thought that up, Kareem. That is a very, very strange one. Yeah. You know? You've heard the saying, when there's a blame, there's a claim. I think that's... You give it a year. You know what they're like, statistics and always yes. analysing things. You give it a year. Um, and I personally think the committee or the group that came up with this rule change, if there is a loss of life, if there's a lot of damage uh, to people in society because of this, they need to be held accountable. Yes, we need to find out who's going. But it's the same with um, all the complaining and objecting. We should actually say, who has done this? If you're going to complain, you need to come out yeah. into the open. Mm -hmm. You don't do sneaky complaining. Um, the, the other one I, that I was reading into was cyclists have a lot more uh, power now over cars. Um, I saw that uh, one. And I, I think, I mean, I genuinely, I raised this last week. I think the bikes should be off the road at rush hour because yeah. I think they're a liability to themselves and to the motorist. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and because you think about it, you know, they're belting along these wee lanes there. And they have to come out if there's anything parked. If it's a bus lane, you see them swinging out if there's a bus there. All that sort of idea. And the dark mornings, you're taking a risk. I mean, I was driving along a huge main road just the other day at 7 o'clock in the morning. The lights were at green, so it was a pure run straight through. And the cars were whipping through before they changed. And some halfway decided to sprint across the road yeah. you know so you've got fast moving traffic doing 40 miles an hour and the half wit wearing black clothing on a pitch dark morning decides yeah. to sprint across the road well that half wit now scotty would have the right away and yes. if you had that person you would be in the wrong it's absolutely ludicrous the cyclists as well now have to stay in the middle of the road and cyclists now have to be, if like if you and me were going out for a cycle, we can be beside each other in the middle of the road. The cars can't do anything about it. On a roundabout, the, you must not overtake a cyclist. You must stay behind them and they have the right away. I just think... Well, I think this is because the motorist lobby has gone as far as it can and they now want cars off the road so they don't care. Well, I just think I, the, the thing that really annoys me, Scotty, is the, the potential of loss of life. Now, you know what people are like trying to cross the road, busy times, as you've said. And if they think, well, I've got the right away and just walk out, you think that poor person turning around, not ready, not prepared, thinking that people are stopping, and they hit, hit. Uh, Although I have to life. say, the old rule was, this is the way I was taught when I sat my driving test, which was 1974. And the old rule was if the pedestrians are off the pavement, they've got right of way. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you see them standing waiting, you have to stop and let them across. Even if it's not a zebra crossing. Yeah, yeah, uh, at the, the junction. Um, yeah, this is, going, this is going to cause problems because you're relying on the car behind uh -huh. Um, yep. making sure, seeing the pedestrians as well and knowing why you've stopped. Yeah, so 
So I do think uh, watch this space because I think there's going to be a lot of accidents when there's a blame, there's a claim and potential loss of life. Yeah, uh, Kareem, I, I shall put this to the nation. And as always, an absolute privilege to hear you. Thank you, Scott. And I hope you're going out to relax now. Yes, no, I've got you on the big screen in the background. Is I'm it looking all right? Tell me this, Kareem, is the um, is the picture looking a bit better this week? Uh, on TikTok it is, but on the, the YouTube it's, it's very slightly fuzzy. Uh, it's not as clear and crisp as on TikTok. As, as, it, as it could be. So I'm just wondering yeah. if I could still... You see, we've been doing some wee experiments. And uh, I'm just let me just try one more and see if I can do something else here. Well, you're there, Kareem, because you're very good with all this. Oh, that's no good. Hang on. You can see, yeah, you can see too much. Let's just get this up. Hang on. Now, is that any better? It kind of just looks the same. I can see. I don't know. I can't see your chin because there's a computer or something in front. Ah, well, we don't want that. So hold on, That's hold it. on. Any better? It looks the same, Scotty. To be fair. Any better? No, nope, just the same. I've got you on the TV in the background. Right, and you can see the top of the computer. Right, it's gone now because I, I, all I can see in, in writing is Scotty McLuhan and it's phone in. Right. Uh, your chin's a bit oh. cold. Right, any better now? No. Uh, they're just moving it down because remember there's a slight delay with YouTube to... Oh, of YouTube course, YouTube. of course. Um, I would put it down just a wee bit more, Scotty. I don't know if you have because remember I said there's a delay. Right. Um, and that, that will be, have your head in view. Just that's give it. that a second or two and tell me if that's looking any better. That's fine, Scotty. It's not crystal clear, but mm. it's fine. It's fine. You can, you can see it. Excellent stuff. Thank you, Kareem. Scotty, speak next week. Have a great week. Bless you. You're a top man. And dinky do. Tarala. That's our Kareem. Yeah. Fantastic. Right, guys. To the telephones. Hi, Scotty. How are you, says Robert? Can I have a wee shout out for Rab in Cambersland? There we are. Suzanne's got COVID in the house. So she's... Uh, well, don't get too near to your equipment, I say. Good evening, Scotty. So the wonderful Neil O'Gormley. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. My name is Martin. Martin, how are you, Lala? Nice to hear you. Yes. Very, very well, Lala. You? Yes, absolutely, Lala. What's happening? I am actually walking to pick up food in a moment. Oh, wow. Amazing. And you're on your phone. Yes. How clever, Martin. Well done. I am out walking out in a drop in the morning. And it's bloody cold. Is it cold, Martin? Is it very chilly? Fantastic. Yes, a very good week. Absolutely. Skin Bob's being a bit cheeky here. I said, is that better? He goes, no, we can still see your face. I saw you had him. Kareem on before me, that's good. Yes, yes, with Kareem on for a wee chat, so very, very good. Uh -huh. Very so, busy, very busy tonight. Um, I um, got a lot of teen eyeballs as well for you. So oh, wow, Martin, how's that going? That's a great thing. It's um, doing really, really well. I, uh -huh. I, am, I am up to almost 1986 now. Right. Um, so, I'm, so I'm almost, so I'm almost at the 90s almost. Hey, wow, that is amazing. So, I wonder if that's a better yeah, picture uh, on the YouTube now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. There we are, but you'll be on there. Are you watching on YouTube or TikTok? Yes, yes, I am. I am. I am. I am. I am watching YouTube. You're watching all the YouTube. Excellent stuff. Thank you, dear. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Scott. Now, listen, I'm, you, I'm going to let you go because I don't want you to get out of puff. Okay, 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 Scotty. Okay. Lovely to hear you and love to you. Dinky do. And, okay, you too. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, la. There we are. That's our Martin. Top man. Excellent stuff. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, have you subscribed and tapped the bell? If you haven't, give yourself a serious, serious telling off. Give yourself a row. Right, who so we got here?
You live with Scotty Swanning. Who's that? I think you, Scotty. I think you do. Who is that? It's Elliot from Ealing. Elliot. How lovely to have you. Where are you from, Elliot? I'm from London. From London. What a privilege to hear your dinky-doo. Dinky-doo to you as well. Elliot, how did you discover us? I discovered you on TikTok and I found your YouTube channel. Oh, wow. What a great man. How lovely to hear you. How lovely to hear you. What a great man. Oh, lovely to meet you as well. Very famous you are. Yes, yes, yes. Very, very famous, actually. <laughs> Nobody believes it, and then they look me up and they think, oh, my God, he is. Yeah, I've seen your most of your video. A quarter of a million views. Quarter of a million per half hour we used to have. I'm, I'm 16. Wow. Wow, amazing. So you'll not remember this. But I will, I will remember this, yeah, I will. You will no no, I'm saying you'll not remember some of the older stuff, but what's interesting is your generation are discovering Scotty McClue. And I love that. Yeah, it's, it's you you're wrong with of course. Of course, absolutely, Elliot. You say that you say the kindest things. <laughs> Fantastic. And how are things in London? Are you all right? Are you out of lockdown? And... Uh, yeah, we're out of lockdown, but I got COVID on Tuesday. So oh, there. no. So you have to isolate for what? Five days, eight days? It's um, eight days, yeah. Eight days isolation and then back to, back to the grind. Yeah. Fantastic. And tell me, Elliot, uh, do, you, do you like the old TikTok videos? Oh, yeah, they're, they're good. It was, I never forget that you they're just different, aren't they? They're just something different, Elliot. Hello? Ah, you're still there. Wonderful. I think this could be very, very, very big indeed. Is it? Yeah, I think it's just going to take a little, a little bit of building. Yeah. Over 10 million followers, hopefully. Wow, could you imagine that? Yeah. Tremendous. Well, Elliot, do me a favor. Tell everybody in London. Yeah, of course I will. Lovely to hear you and all the very best. Dinky do, sir. Dinky do to you as well. Have a good day. Top man. Have a lovely, lovely day. There we are. That's it. That's Elliot from London. We love that. How amazing. Uh, dinky do, la. You've made my evening seeing you're the best broadcaster in Scotland. Wonky. My most famous pal, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. Beachy, beachy. Off to the telephones. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's David, Scotty. How oh, you right? David, la. Lovely to hear you, Dinky Doo. Right. You know, what a good night. I've been listening to the start. I your old, old, old friends. Well, no old friends. The guy you phoned in about the old days. Alan, yes. I've never, uh, to my knowledge, I've never met Alan before. It's just, he was just one of the Scott FM lot. Right, and then, then John Sweetie, hi Scott, yeah. Hi John, dinky do, Lala. <laughs> hey, hold on here, John. Hello, Scott. Hello, John, how you getting on? I'm fantastic, Lala. Um, I don't like this once a week. No, I know, everybody's been talking about that, you know. We should be on every night for three hours, ten to one. Can you, can you tell me, Scotty, what was the reason? The, the biggest reason you, you cut down. Well, just it was getting very heavy going. We'd built up 106 shows. Wow. And that was every single night apart from the Sunday. Aye. And I'd, what had happened was I do a full time day job as well. And I was just going to burn myself out. And I thought, now, do I want an early death or do I want to hang about and annoy a few more people? No, I'm not in the least worried about my health. My health is quite remarkable. I'm absolutely taking the boot. All it was was, um, you know, I'd just been overworking. You see, and I mean, you'll have done it yourself. Davy's probably done it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, David, but me, he's a he's a housewife. He he likes to put his feet up and uh, and pop chockies into his mouth. 
He likes to he likes to sit in the white leather suite. Oh, he's got his hand on my purse and he's got a hand on everything else. Hi, absolutely. <laughs> That's what it's about, John. You're a top man and well done. Take care, Lala. All the best. There you go. See that man of yours? What's he like? Is he not amazing? He's half his seed. I wonder if he gets it for you. Oh, I bet. <laughs> Davey, no, you stay on as long as you like because you're an absolute top man. I lifted your call off last week about the LGBTQ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, uh, Numpty Heed didn't like it. I understand. Numpty Heed was making sense because I know I actually still accepted. Squad. He does, he does Numpty Heed, but Numpty Heed's very kind of proper. And also, oh, Numpty Heed you know, Numpty Heed gets a wee bit embarrassed because you and I banter away, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was watching a programme tonight in Scotty, you know, but I still not actually accept because there's a lot of violence. Because uh -huh. uh, something happened to me in 2012. I was nearly murdered. Oh, David. In 2012. No, anyway, I don't know. No, we'll not go into all that. But I know what you mean. It's, it's, it's very high risk. And when I've been talking to people, um, most yeah. of the gay guys, one said the other day, a wee bit sarcastically, of course, you know how straight guys are always feared for their life. And it was just a wee well, tongue-in-cheek comment. And I thought, well, I can see where you're coming from. But I don't yeah. think Scotty McClue should ever be put off raising a subject just because it's controversial. Oh, I know that. You know? I I know that. And, and I think, I think... Uh, I should be able to say what people think. Yeah, 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 of course. I mean, good, 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 good. The guy you are, you're very controversial. That's you. You have been for centuries. Well, I would like to think that I'm both controversial and conscientious. Of course, and, yeah. you know, and I, and I do think, I mean, somebody said to me 30 years ago, you're a wee bit hard on the nurses. I said, listen, yeah. if I went on and said these poor nurses, people would say, switch that off. But if I go on and I say the nurses are earning far too much money, everybody piles in, including the nurses. <laughs> and the nurses used to come on and go, you don't even realise what we do. And I would say, well, tell us what you do then. And they would tell you the lot. And these nurses too, the NHS, well, the NHS, they complain about the job, but they want to get, you know, they want, the people want to get what the NHS is. Yes. That's what they want, but they're complaining. And you see, the other thing is most of your, most of your phone-ins nowadays, nobody uh -huh. phones them, and one of the reasons nobody phones them is because uh -huh. they're cack. Yeah, Do you yeah, see what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So they go on and they go, so give us a phone, and nobody phones them. Scotty McClue yeah. pops up on the internet with a handful of folk and everybody rings. Yeah, there you go. Do you know what I mean? Because they know they're going to get a straight bit of talking, and if they're talking absolute nonsense, they'll get dumped. Yeah, yeah. I was just glad tonight. I was proud of what's happening. I, I wouldn't keep it. No, but I'm loving like you, David. I'm, uh, you know, I mean, you and I are no daft, you know, even although we might oh, look at no, sometimes, no. you know. Uh, back to Raymond, back to the first caller. It was interesting. About the, 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 the road was. That's ridiculous, man. Yeah, I know that sort of stuff. It's going to get dangerous because if somebody slams on because a dafty's run across the road, somebody's going to get into the back of them. Somebody might go into the back of them. Hey. I you see, I think sometimes they used to say the camel is a horse designed by committee. Do you know what I mean? And I think I think that's that's where you get you get too many people sticking their oar in. See. This, this new, this new world. Who's sitting behind doing this new Well, this is it. We need these people out in the open. Yeah, we need we need all these people on the telly telling us why they've done it. You know, so they, that's what we need to get back to. We need to get back to instead of pretending. 
to do yes, interviews. Yes. We need to get all these wonderful journalists back on, asking yes. questions, letting these uh -huh. people just away by the skin of their teeth. Uh -huh. it's a disgrace. You know? Uh, Scotty, when they're doing to people, it's a pure, utter disgrace. Do you know what folk used to say? You should uh -huh. interview politicians, Scotty, and if they got past you, they've got the vote. <laughs> Parliament, Scotty, or one day imagine oh. that in my dreams. No, but I'll tell you, see if I go to Parliament, I promise you, the Chief Whip oh. would call me into his office. He would say, right, Scotty, here's what you do. You shut up. And I would say, oh, no, I'm not going to do any of that, Tom. I says, I'll not be shutting up. I'll tell you. I'd be up. I'd be up like this, Davey. Here's an impersonation of me in Parliament. Oh, wow. Have you seen my future? I'd like in the heaven looking at you. You know, that's, that's, you know what, I mean? that's what we're going to do. We'll get up there and get right on to the front bench. <laughs> well, and I, so, hopefully, what you'd hear is, Mr. Speaker. If I may respond to the honourable gentleman opposite. Did, did you watch it last Wednesday when they were Boris Johnson? Oh, God, they were getting stuck in, weren't they? That was, that was good telly. Yes, it was great telly. It was great telly. And yes, it wasn't a party. And then we find out he can't remember. And he had a house party. Davey, Davey. Have you ever been at a party that nobody's told you it was a party? No. 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 <laughs> so let's have it straight. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yes, yes. It's course. There we are. My most famous pal, Dinky Do. Scotty, what do you make of the new DVLA legislation? We've just been talking about that. I get depressed when you've not been depressed. How's things, Scotty? Not seen you live for a while. Dinky Do from Wilmington in North Carolina. So they are wish you can get a man. Think I'm too old now. 50. Any offers? I love you, Scotty. Bless you. You live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hiya, Scotty. How you doing, mate? Hey, Glenn, la, Dinky Do. I've been panic attacks there, Scotty, not being able to get through. It's been jammed out. Well, it's been busy, busy, busy tonight. It's brilliant. It's like, you know what I'm, I'm, I know I don't say this, but it's like going... You are number five in the queue. Please hold the line. Oh, gee, I know. Can okay, you get that? I remember phoning the council one night and it said, your position in the queue is 12. I thought, oh. <laughs> and then you get the music. And then five minutes later, it goes, your position in the queue is 12. <laughs> well, if it's not on the premium number, Scotty, it's not so bad, is it? You know, like if it's on a standard... Uh, minute number. It's not so bad, but if it's charging your fortune. Absolutely. What about this one? Sounds not balanced, Scotty, says Streaky Bacon. Um, and we've got G Scotty Boris wouldn't like that. You'd eat all the cake. Especially, Scotty, especially when uh, if you're going up, if you're phone up at uh, certain services upon the go, uh, and a closing time to come into an end, and you don't deal with the query within that time, and you have to phone them back again next day, kind of thing. Yes. Thinking, I've gone through all that to have to phone somebody else back in the morning. And I'm not both, I'm not racist or anything with, with cultures and that, but people who you speak to on call centres, they're hard to understand sometimes, aren't they? Oh, yes. I, oh, sometimes you kind of get, uh, you don't know what's what. I've only had one bad one, and it was a, a big telephone company, and he was a very, very, very cheeky man. And sometimes... When you have to, re when you're spelling things out, and you have to read the phonetic alphabet out to them. Yes, yes, when that's you right. You have to, you have to spell Alpha, it out to them. Alpha, Charlie. That's you right, Alpha Charlie Lima. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can, you can change it to your own interpretation of alphabet if you want. You well, can you can, it. but in actual fact, it's uh, it, you know the people that know it, it would sound a bit odd if you do that. Yeah, you know. I mean, they, these multicultural, these overseas uh, companies, they don't know so much about these phonetic alphabets, do they? Chris Grant is sending me a huge number of TikToks. Chris, thank you very much. I will, I will just look in at 
you know, before uh, just after when Kareem was speaking, to yes, you, you know, with ca- with camera on YouTube, you went a little bit blurry at one point. It, it looks decent at I me. Mean, it's got it. Is it looking great. okay now? It looks pretty good, yeah. Excellent. That's probably as good as we'll get at the moment because I'm saving up for new stuff. Well, you got it on. Is it our stress stream? Is it called Scott? Yeah, it's on the old D stream. That's right. Have you been using that format a long time then? Yes, and that allows me to send it out to multi streaming, you see. Hey, Scott, what do you think? You know, when you have a oh when you have a child and that, do you, do you reckon you can build them up into your hobbies then as they get older or, or would you just leave them to be grown that's the fight, you know, like if they want to get into things? Uh, uh, what do you mean? Uh, tell me tell me a bit more. Like football, I think, you know, like oh, I see what you mean. Yes, you want them to take them along. No, um, I think probably you'll find, you see, that children have got their own character. And yeah. it's up to us as parents to observe that character oh, yeah. and then to encourage their strengths. Would you build her into it gradually then if she wants to get into it? Yeah, that's what I mean. You could say, do you want to come along to the football? You see, I was never, ever taken to football because my father... Yeah. He'd been all the way through the Second World War and he was a wonderful gardener. So on a yeah. Saturday, he was in his garden, so I used to help him. And I didn't oh, yeah. miss the football. I still don't. But as a parent, you can get him into your pastimes yourself, can't you? Well, yes. I mean, you don't want, I don't think, to have a child who's just an extension of yourselves. Yeah, definitely. Let them find their own individuality. You don't want a child who's a figment of your own imagination, you know. I get what you're saying. It's nice to interact and go with your hobbies, though, isn't it? Oh, yes, absolutely. And let them see things and explain to them what daddy or mummy is actually doing. Because there's a lot of, there's a lot of, I'm not saying it's bad parenting. I'm not saying all different parents are different with techniques. Of course. A lot of parents I've seen on public transport, they stick a tablet in front of the child and they just let them just do whatever. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Here's, here's Keith saying, I wish I could at least get someone to talk to tonight, Scotty. I think, Scotty, I think natural resources, you know, like taking them out of the playgrounds and things like that. Yeah. Kicking a ball about, going on swings and things like that. What we used to do when we were younger. Yeah, absolutely. Things like that, I just think, I, I sim- think, simple things. Uh, the only uh, thing is, uh, we ones now want phones when they're quite young uh, and they want to just go I on think, their phones. Beachy, beachy. I mean, uh, has sent me think, 60, 70, 80 TikToks, 90. I think sometimes, Scotty, I think sometimes you're making a rod for your own back if you're getting them into tablets and mobiles and things like that. Well, I think you are, absolutely, because then you're taking think, them to another world altogether rather than the real yeah, world. I think I think as you're learning as a parent, you know, like with me just having a child and that, I'll learn as I go along. There's no right Of course you will, and it will bring you so much joy. Beachy yeah. Beachy's just sent me 100 TikToks. I appreciate everything you said anyway, Scott. Yeah. What about this oh, one, Chris? Okay. It says, Chris, I had an incredible life living in central Scotland, swimming, rope swings, and football. That's in response to you, you see. No, no, like I said, now everything's all interactive and all virtual stuff. It's, it's not as good as it were, is it? No, no, and it's not as simple as it was. The things that we loved, like a jam sandwich. Yeah. A piece, a piece and jam, as yeah, going to the swimming talking, pool. When the Andy's talking, that's a more one by these game add-ons and all these things. It's not right, is it? Chris says, now I live in a city. None of my children have done half of what I did. Yeah, do, do you think it's easier now than it were back when we were younger than Scotty? Or do you think it's going no? To be it's harder? I think it's harder in other ways. Yeah. I mean, we might not have had a lot of money available and things like that. Now parents think, well, just buy them it and, and that'll keep them quiet. And that kid won't appreciate it, will, will it? You no, won't not really, it because it's not a real person. Yeah, definitely. Do you know what I mean? And the joy, and I mean, what, what you need is true affection. You need to be able yeah. to hug your kids and hug your parents. You don't want to be saying here, uh, take this, leave them to sh- to play up a few hours. You no, no, are we are we in play? No, that's that's a nonsense. The internet has a lot to answer for, but it's the future. Get some Scotty on in, in background when she can interact. Scotty, get Scotty McClure on, and she can shout, "Dinky do!" Yeah, 
definitely. So that'll be a brilliant. I'll, as soon as I get that going, Scotty, I'll uh, I'll let you know about it. Yeah, that would be excellent stuff. And Scotty, you know what I miss though? It's like one of your previous callers were saying about the radio. You were just an amazing energy Scotty back in there when radio were going. Well, it was it was big stuff, yeah. wasn't it? You were just you were just an aura, Scotty. You were just uh, you were just brilliant stuff. Have you got early days? Have you got? I don't have much recorded from the Hallam FM days, sadly, yeah. because they were huge. Yeah. I mean, Tony the Scouts and Les, name but a few. Tony the Scouts uh, and uh, and Magic, Magic on all the stations. Uh, yeah, all the uh, all the um, the uh, networking round the country. Yeah, fantastic. Get never be joining us from Liverpool and oh, fantastic. Well, I mean, I've had so many good days on the radio, you know, and and I yeah. think we'll we'll have a few more. We just need one smart programmer to go. Yeah. That's the one for me. But from the biasness, Scott, from being biased and all that, those were the days, Scott. Those yes. Standout, standout moments from my point of view, anyway. Without a doubt. You well, must... here's Chris saying it's so much harder for teens today, Scott. It's a sad state of affairs. Yeah. Yeah. In, in terms of growing up and that, in terms of kids growing up and things, Scott, it's yes, you know, yes. Uh, well, I think it is. I think it is much harder, really, to be honest with you. Do you do you think it's there's a big big responsibility on their shoulders then as as they're growing up in this? Like a lot of kids have got a lot of respect, and a lot of kids just don't have a lot of respect kind of thing. I think it depends on the it. upbringing, Scotty, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. I think you're absolutely right. That's what's happening, Glenn. Think, Glenn, I'm going to have to dash because we're, we're running out of time here. Scotty, I know you've been burning out and all that, you know, with everything you've been doing because you've had to cut shows down. But yeah. if there were more than one Scotty in this world and you could get a lot of energy out there, you put loads of time into the show. Of course we well. would. Absolutely, dear boy. That's what it's about. Scotty, anyway, and Hey, you take great care of you. Love you lots. Tarala. Take care, Scott, uh, take uh, heed, uh, dear. What a top man. There we are. That's our Glenn. Excellent stuff. Now then, uh, lots and lots of you trying to get on. We've got uh, still got about six minutes. So there we are. Dinky do. Now, who have we got here? I'll just get rid of a couple of wee trolls here. Send them down the swan. Eh? Half witted idiots. That's Cammy. He's a half wit. Who else have we got? Um, there we are. Right. No, it's just the one. One wee troll out of the whole night on TikTok. Is that not outstanding, guys? I can't believe it. What a fantastic show tonight. To the telephones, the number is across the bottom of your screen there, and you should be able to see it. Apparently, a much better picture. On the old YouTube tonight. We like that. Wonderful. Everybody make sure they subscribe and tap the bell. That's what it's about, I say. There we go. Fantastic. Very good. Very nice. Lovely to see you. Hi, Magnus. Good to hear from you. That's it for Saturday night night, Scotty. Night night, Jerry. Jerry's dashing off. Jerry's one of the older ones now. Have you noticed the older ones push off about five minutes early? It's like the fate of the goal. We'll need to get away and get the bus. Good to hear from you. Uh, send them down the Swanee. Absolutely, Benedon, crazy. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us and good stuff. Now then, who have we got? Uh, kids today use their thumbs to contact their friends. We used our legs. Absolutely. That's what it's all about, I say. You're a great man, Scotty, says Glenn. Thank you, Glenn. Very, very much appreciated. Now then, who is this, I see? You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? No, it's Scotty. Thank you, dude. It's me, myself. Ben. Ah, numpty heat. About time, too. Kareem is sending me TikToks here. Is that not beautiful? Oh, it's been a busy night tonight, I can tell you. Absolutely. Now then, Scotty. There's Weech saying hello and good night, Scotty. A shout out for Salcoats. Nah, hello, Salcoats. Hello, Salcoats. Good evening, Salcoats. Hi, Scotty. Yes. I was, I 
Yes, it was quite interesting. I mean, there was a lot of denials going on, though, of course, so we don't know. There's always people who twist the story and... Twisting the story and all the rest of it. But I must say, you and I would be saving dogs as well. Oh, absolutely. If I had room for the cat and the dogs... Be and we'd be saying to them, get on a plane and take your cats and dogs with you. Absolutely. Now, Scotty, I, I need to tell you the best thing since life's breed. Yes. Plastic bowls. Do you think so? You know Aye, well, the thing is... You realise this will cause a stushy because if you go to the beach now, which you do, you'll see that there's a lot of plastic bottles washed up in the beach. Right, Scotty, I'll tell you this. The glass bowls used to be what attracted bearings to building sites because they were away looking for the, the glass bowls. And you took them back to the shop and got your throp Aye, well, the thing is, now that there's no glass bowls, the bearings stay off. That is a good thing, actually. But I mean, the bairns now when they get near a building site because it's all security. The first thing they do when they've got a building site is put a massive fence round it, and then they put up security. Aye, but the same of bairns are like they can squeeze through fences. Oh, okay, and again they'll try all these things. But the glass bottles, I don't even think that your 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 average construction worker now would bother with glass bottles. There's weeds giving you a shout back for salt coats. Is that not fantastic? Absolutely. We love salt coats. Beautiful. We do a great show tonight, Scotty. So there we are, uh, says so Streaky Bacon. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, listen, I agree with John that you should be on more than once a week, Scotty. Yes. So I'm just re I'm just reporting some cheeky people on here. There we are, fantastic. And now, go on. You need to up your game and be on twice a week. Twice a week, you think? So we'll go for the next one. Absolutely. Lovely hearing from you. And dinky do, Lala. Aye, dinky do. Dinky do. That's it. That's our man there. Just amazing stuff. That's what we like. There we are. Now, uh, love the show, Scotty, says Larry. Dinky do, Larry. TikTokers, we're right out of time. I'm going to have to say good night. God bless. Dinky do. And ta -ra las Thank you for watching. That's our beautiful, beautiful TikTokers. Fantastic. Right, there we go. That's us. Oh, what a shame. We're going to miss you. 5,000 likes on the TikTok. Is that not incredible? Great call, Scotty. Congratulations to the both of your daughter, Glenn, says Susan. Dinky do, Scotty. Take care. We've had one or two half-witted idiots on tonight, so they'll be getting a wee knock on their door, I can tell you. Fantastic. They're the police. We'll be having a word with them. There we go. Congratulations. Yes, fantastic. We've time for one last very quick call. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty's David twice tonight. Oh, you tonight. naughty, naughty boy. Can you ask that's John? John, John I should speak to you? Yes, go on, John. Wait, 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 w